Welcome back to my channel, guys. This is your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. Today, I wanted to get into a get ready with me. I'm getting ready to go to brunch with a friend. And I wanted to do my makeup on camera with you guys and show you guys some of the products that I absolutely love. I have been using these products for over three years now like consistently and have not changed them the only thing i added in was my mascara which i used to use the chanel before but i stopped and started using the the dior show but i switched over to the chanel voluminous i think that's what it's called um but everything else is pretty much the same so i'm getting ready to go to brunch i'm super hungry i'm looking for a brunch place that caters to like plant-based eaters it's kind of hard and when they do have plant-based a lot of it is processed foods which i totally stay away from but anyway let's get ready so i'm gonna just go through some of the makeup things that i absolutely love i have on my scarf today and i'm sitting in my towel just got out of the shower um if you guys don't know i already put this on my face but the bobby brown um vitamin enriched face base is absolutely good you guys can see it's pretty much gone i don't even know if you guys can see it's so bright it smells actually really good um and on occasion i use the tarte which is also good this is timeless smoothing primer that's gone as well well almost gone but that's if you want like a really nice almost like a um what's the word like an airbrush finish right um so those are the, some of the things that i use on my face but like i said i already put the bobby brown on so i'm very very moisturized as well as some of my other moisturizer i do double moisturize and it doesn't cause it let me fix this guys <laughs> it doesn't cause any issues when it comes to my makeup so there you have it um and lately i've been just taking the laura mercier in honey and just dabbing it over my my eyebrows a bit, which need to be done. Actually, let me move my mirror over. If it went out of focus, it's because I'm on my vlogging camera. And sometimes that's a little janky. All right, so let me go through this a little bit fast about the products that I'm actually gonna be using. So again, I take the Laura Mercier and I just kind of dab it over my eyebrows. And I dab it under, under my eye as well. And not a ton. I think I've said this before. I don't use a ton of makeup. And you'll see while I'm doing it. Oh, it looks crazy. <laughs> it looks like a lot here, but I, I can almost guarantee you that it's, it's not a lot. It's that I, my skin is darker, so just putting on pop, that looks crazy. But it's really not that dark <laughs> over here. <laughs> Anyway, as far as my eyebrows, my eyebrows are not done. Like, I have not gotten them waxed or anything like that. Not waxed, threaded. Do you guys still wax your eyebrows? Like, I haven't waxed my eyebrows since I was like 16. I've been using thread ever since I discovered them in Manhattan and New York. Uh, but let me just fix this. Yeah, let me know if you guys still wax your eyebrows. Like, is that a thing, Sue? And anyway, before, it used to give me like a little pimple on the side, so I just didn't like it. Um, all right, and my as far as my eyebrow pencil, this is not the one that I usually use. I usually use this one, but this one is the one. Anyway, so they're different. They both say color. Once it's color stay, once it's color put, I've been using this one, but I don't like it. That is the one that I like by Revlon. If I can find it, I'm gonna link it below because it just, the consistency is really nice. And I don't know, I just like it. This one just is not giving me life. And also the tip of them are actually different from each other. Can you guys see that? The tip is a little different, so. This is the new one, this is the old one. They're just completely different. But anyway, I don't know how this is gonna come out because this, this vlogging camera is doing something wonky. But let's get into it. I'm just noticing now, I, I've never had this issue. I'm not gonna say it's an issue, but I feel like the more that designers are making clothes, I just feel like they're not even being made for like 
like women who are even average anymore. Like most of the girls that I'm seeing, they're like five three and five four. Pants look fine. You got somebody who's five seven. Pants are high waters. Um, so I don't know what that's about, and it's kind of annoying me. It is. Oh. Um. All right, so that's my eyebrows. I'm gonna keep that really simple. I don't do a, a ton a ton to it. And and actually, the right one looks like it came out pretty jacked up. We can try to fix that. All right, so that was the pencil for my eyebrows. Like I said, it's the Milani color put. I don't really like it, but this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toast. I've been using this since, oof, for some, some years now, and I only use it around my eyebrows uh, because I don't want to use my my NARS up here because NARS is expensive. Uh, so let's leave that like that, and then I'm going to do my foundation, which is my oh my god, hold on, my NARS. Sheer Glow Foundation. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. One of the reasons why I like this NARS is because it doesn't completely cover my skin. I am a girl who loves to have, if I have makeup on, I still want some of my imperfections to show through. I don't want it to be perfect, unless I'm doing like a photo shoot or something. But on a day to day, I would like for my skin and my little, you know, blemishes and stuff to kind of show. So, this is like a bump and a half. It's not a lot. Sometimes it seems like more than what I'd be wanting to put on. Um, and I just kind of... And I'll tell you right now, I usually blend my eyebrows first, <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> And some girls do put powder over their whole face before they put their foundation. I don't do it. I, I can, I still kind of like a dewy look as well. Right, so I like to take my all nighter spray and spray it on my beauty blender brush to get my eyebrows in order. I'm gonna make this video kind of quick Cause this is like an everyday look for me. I, I'm I'm not usually trying like a bunch of different colors and stuff. Maybe a different color lipstick possibly, but I would prefer neutral colors like gold and bronze, um, things like that on my skin tone. Oh, this eyebrow is super big on the left. <laughs> Let's fix that a little bit. So keeping it kind of natural. All right. So from here, I'm going to take my NARS. So this is the NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Deep One Cafe and Medium Deep Three Amande. So the Amande is lighter in color and then the Cafe is darker. So I take the cafe and I put the cafe in an area where I feel like can be a little bit better. Um, it's not terrible down here, but. And I just put like, it's not a lot. You guys shave your mustache off? Oh my God, wait till I tell you guys about these daggone Invisalign. So, actually I can tell you guys about that now. So again, that was the NARS um, Creamy Concealer in Cafe Deep One. So my Invisalign, well my sparkle line is I had to do it over. So I wasn't happy at all. So I ended up going back to them. Like maybe if I was done, let's just say I was done in June, I went back. Mm, 
August maybe because I was not I'm gonna come close I didn't like how it is still a little messed up on this side but it's still working how the bottom was going like down so the guy who did my teeth who did the last set he was from their other office and I ain't gonna lie I think he's fixing it like literally so this is what I want to do. You guys tell me if this is mean. I mean, I don't think it's mean. It is what it is. The place that I currently go to, there's two orthodontists that work there. It's a man and a woman. The man is, he's, he's fine. Um, it's the lady. Like, I feel like, I just, I don't think she's good. And here's why. She's the one who gave me the set that had changed my whole everything. No, let me backtrack. The second set of aligners that I had, they give you retainers to hold your teeth until you go. Go back. That second set had overcorrecting OC, the letters OC on the retainer. So I asked, was this overcorrecting? And the girl was like, just wet in the same. But it actually did take my front teeth and slightly turn them. She came and got me a new set, which I don't even know what her point was of moving the stuff down here because the issue was here oh i mean my whole bite the, my whole jaw at all was completely different this is the amande three so i went back recently because i took a look at a little bit impatient looking at some of the other trays to see how my teeth would look and the bottom these two teeth this one and this one is showing that it's going to look like this <laughs> and she tells me I don't have to worry about that this is why I said she's not good because if I look at my retainers from the last time they were not like that at the bottom so I'm just looking at her so I know I will not go back to her the only thing that I will let her do is take off my attachments and that is totally because it seems like the guy at my regular orthodontist is a little rough and she's not but that's it I don't think she's good when it comes to the spark aligners my opinion uh, I think that she may be good with when it comes to braces but these spark aligners no the guy at the other place is way better so if I have to get any more adjustments or whatever because I'm fearing that these are going to be like vampire teeth I'm going to the other location and I don't care because these are my teeth and I have to you know I have to be with them <laughs> be on camera and stuff but I don't think she's good I'm not gonna tell her that she's probably gonna know um because I'm not gonna want to see her unless it's just that and even my retainers I'm going to see if one of the guys, he's he's um, he's new. He's not terrible, but I think that the young lady, another girl, she's like, she just works it, not like an orthodontist, was better. So, listen, I still would recommend them, but I will say this, you really have to pay attention to your teeth, and we don't know what to expect because this will be your first time getting a spark aligner or any type of aligner. Pay attention to anything you see that doesn't make sense definitely question it so even now that I'm speaking I can tell that this side still has it needs to shift up a bit um, but before both sides were like I, I, I can't gonna explain this it was going like this is the front teeth and the back was going down I don't know what the hell she did to be quite honest with you maybe the tenth tray will fix this this bottom part um yeah I'm, I'm hoping and then I was thinking because he just, I'm paying attention to them. Like I said, like to the, <laughs> to the 10th power, I'm just like paying attention. If I put a new aligner on and I'm feeling a certain pain in a certain area, I'm automatically going to see what is it trying to do to my teeth. I'm just paying close attention. Like I said, I still do recommend it, but definitely pay attention. And if you feel like one of the orthodontists in the office, cause there's usually more than one that you don't like, just don't go to them. Request the other person. I mean, they 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 not gonna tell you no. Um, they actually pretty nice in there. They just want me to be happy. 
uh, with my teeth. And I paid all this damn money for it, so. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, let me hurry up with bull crapping with y'all. Um, yeah. So let's do that. Just a little bit. It looks really bright on camera, but it's really not that bright, guys. I'm trying to tell people I am a dog skin girl, but the lights be doing something else to my skin. Okay. Laura Mercier on top of the concealer. And then now this is my, okay, so I don't like MAC products like that because they do smell, but I've been using the Dark Deep Mineralized uh, Powder for many, many years now. And I'll tell you this, you can wear this by itself if you have like skin that doesn't have any like bumps or anything like that. You can wear it by itself. All right, so then I'm gonna take some of my, so I've been using Leader for a long time. And yeah, I just put it, Child, I am no makeup guru, but let me tell you, your girl know how to look put together when she go outside. And that's really, that's all that matters. Like, you don't have to be like a makeup guru. You don't have to contour. You don't have to do none of that if that's not your thing. If you want to keep it really simple, you can definitely do something that I'm doing right now. Um, Very, very chill. Not too much. Then I usually put on... Savage by NARS. This is their blush. I done broke the dang on thing, but let me see if I can show y'all. It's like a pretty, not too bright. It has like a little shimmer in it, but I just use a little bit of it. Yeah, not too much. All right, now I have been using <laughs> This 35-0 Supernatural Glow Palette by Morphe Forever. It's like, if you like neutral colors, definitely go for something like this. It's just all the nice neutral colors. Oranges for, for dark-skinned women. Um, browns, shimmer, like, I don't know, it's just really, really good. And I'm gonna use, when it comes to brushes, I don't even be using the right brush. I'm gonna use, what color is this? Oh. Uh, they do have the names on the little situation here. I think it's called Dreamlike. Dreamlike and Unreal. One is a little lighter, that's this one, and then one is a little darker. So depending on what I'm trying to do, I'll probably mix the two of them. And don't tell me I'm doing my makeup wrong. <laughs> I ain't no guru, y'all. No, I use Remarkable also, and that has like a little shimmer in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's like a bronze shimmer. It kind of reminds me of, I used to use this MAC little pod. So I like MAC's sh eyeshadow. Um... I like their eyeshadow and that one liner. And that's probably about it. And that that uh, mineralized powder. Because this stuff, it smells like chemicals to me. And then I just take my spray. I, if you put things back, you don't have a lot to clean up. <laughs> okay. You won't have a lot to clean up. All right. So, now I'm going to take my Chanel primer, which I'm running out. I need another one. I actually like it. I didn't think I would like it. Um, and it's just like a white little primer. I should have put this a little closer. I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas, but I don't know if it's gonna be like too much with like work and just everyday day-to-day -day life. I don't know. 
And what would you like to see on Vlogmas? I don't know if I'm gonna put up a tree this year. I guess I will defeat the purpose, right? No tree. And here's the Chanel Voluminous. I like the brush on this. It's like it combs through it. Now I'm trying to decide what to wear for brunch. Let's check the weather. So in Atlanta, it is 68, high 71. Let's make sure. Yeah. So it's not that cold and it's not that hot. Now when it comes to lips, that's a simple look. When it comes to my lips, but I do still use the chestnut, which I be running this in a hole. But I had this really nice one from MAC that was called Cushy. It's not super dark, but it's like a nice brown because the chestnut is so dark. So I try not to put so much of it on. And then I'm gonna put on my Spirit. Spirit looks like this. It's not super, it looks brighter on camera, but it's, it looks, I don't know, it's like a nice nude. Uh, but sometimes when you put it on, it looks lighter. And that's it. So I'm gonna go do my hair, bring you guys in the bathroom for that. I'll try because the way the camera is gonna be set up and then get dressed guys. So let's get into it. So my hair looks like I don't really have to put much curls in it. So I'm actually gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave it. Cause it's giving me like, I don't know if you guys can see like a fluffy look and I actually like it. So I'm gonna leave it and just go get dressed. Probably like fix some of the straight hairs, but that's it. Let's get into the closet and pick out an outfit. All right, so I'm just grabbing my accessories. You guys, I know I don't have a ton of rings. Cause your girl got some big old hands. And I typically stick with the same stuff for daily things. Um, I think I'm gonna wear my Hermes bracelet today. And I like to put it at the top. In my, I need some more accessories. And it's, I think I want to go for ivory today. So I think I'm going to do, huh? I think I'm going to do my pearl earrings today. You know, I love my pearl earrings. Oh, you know what? I may wear this wear this sweater. All right, so I have my accessories on that I'm gonna be wearing. I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it real simple. Same jewelry that I'm always wearing, rings. I need some more rings, cause I want like a handful of rings, but very dainty rings. And my makeup is done, hair is done, keeping it chill. I don't know if I'm gonna wear something that is a button up, cause my hair is already done, okay? Um, but we, we shall see and you guys will see the finished look in a minute. So I'll catch you guys in a second. All right guys, so I actually changed my jewelry and I'm keeping it really simple today. I got on a plain white gold watch. Then I put these on. I ended up changing from my gold accessories. This is a Maximo Duty dress. I hope you guys can see. Let me see if I can bring you guys down just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see. Maximo Duty dress. Um, I have on no shoes now, but I am going to be wearing my Gia Pernil boots. I'll pop in a photo and I'm going to wear my, my key glasses. These are very chill, simple. It's so bright in here. Um, and then I'm going to throw these on, but I'll pop in a photo for you guys to see. So I'm going to go out 
enjoy my day and I will catch you guys in the next one. So this was not really like a vlog style, but more so my makeup routine. And just a quick little get ready with me. These tights are from Sheer Text. I don't, let me see if I can show you guys. Can you guys see like the line in the back? It has like the exposed seam. Really, really nice. And I got a size, ooh, I got an extra large or one X. But they are, they come up high. They're not like, you know how sometimes they're like big, well not big in the middle, like they're hanging in the middle. I don't have that problem. The jacket is my Frankie Shop coat. Um, the Chicago oversized moto jacket. And that's it, and my Gia Pernier boots. Keeping it real chill today. So this is my outfit. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. I will catch you guys in the next one. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com. And my style services, CocoStylesNY.com. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Top. Coco Styles NYC, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.